Good day, everyone. This video and today we have a sub request by Jelly Rider Two Three Four for the PE Eight. Unfortunately, I did have this sub request actually done. Unfortunately, when I actually went to go and check the file, there was no sound on it. Yeah, not exactly great, is it? Obviously, the commentary still was there, like my microphone was picked up and everything. It's just the game had no sound. And it turned out it was because even though I had my headphones set in the game and everything and all that jazz so that the sound actually comes through my headphones, uh, for some reason Windows decided, you know what, we're going to default it to your actual speakers that you use when you're not having your headset on 24-7. So that's why there was no sound. The game, well, it was recording the game, but it wasn't recording the sound because the sound wasn't set to the game, if that makes sense. So, yeah, that's just a fine example of how Windows is, but anyway. So the PDA, I have covered in a sub-request before, about two, three years ago or something, and it's more of a meme playing, and obviously back then the guns actually did something. These days are a bit 50-50. The problem is with this plane is it's boring, and most of that is down to the way Gaijin just makes ARB stale these days. and. There's a good reason for that. Bombers these days don't really have strategic targets, and it's more of a, the fact that it just doesn't give us anything to do other than just press spacebar, maybe kill a fight that's on our tail if we don't die to it, of course. Um, and yeah, it's really that sort of thing, to be honest. Now, of course, in the first sort of way I can describe that is we need more strategic targets and the map that I got when I originally did like had the sub request done which obviously I'm redoing now was a map where we had half base health maps in other words you only need two 500 kilogram bombs to destroy it and personally I think adding more of those kinds of bases and adding more strategic targets with mission objectives would really benefit bombers but well I'll probably cover that in a um, discussion video at some point. Anywho, let's get in and let's get cracking. I did get one air kill in that match, and it was a guy who basically was... He was above my entire team. He had an advantage. The only thing that was keeping up with him was the Kai-44, which he would have killed. And he decided to dive on me and complain that his guns didn't do anything. And was also like, bro, why didn't... Like, why didn't you just die? And I'm like, you decided to go from the best angle I can shoot you at in a PA. And, well, he didn't last long. Anywho, I'll see you all in the first match. And in typical fashion, five seconds after I say that, we get our first match. Oh, Gaijin. I mean, to be fair, the first match that I recorded, um, that had a two-minute wait, so... I guess Gaijin are some days being a bit lenient with the running gag, but, you know, it, it's just something that they do. So I'm praying that we don't fight the US in this, and I'm gonna, I'm not, I'm not gonna look now, I'm gonna be surprised once we get to the match. And we're probably dead, because they have P8, or they have XP50. And, this is a 5.3 match. Fucking wonderful. I really wanted to be in a 5-3 match with one of the biggest, most fragile heavy bombers I've ever flown in my life. And the TU-2 is going to base steal, because yes, that's another day that ends in Y. Honestly, this, this is why I don't really enjoy playing heavy bombers anymore, because of shit like this. I don't get paid enough for this crap. I mean, don't really get paid at all, but that's not the point. Anywho, since I'm probably going to have to fly to those bases over there, because, well, let's be real, Dusha, Dusha and Dusha are probably going to steal my bases, I will see you all shortly. Well, welcome back. We have gotten to one of the bases that I, well, the base I actually originally called. The TU-2 didn't even have the bomb load to kill it because he was too busy strafing the base of his 20mm, which proves exactly why we shouldn't be letting morons like that have rare vehicles like that because that TU-2 is as rare as rocking horse shit. It's probably going to take two bombs so I'm going to do that. 
Let's see if we can get some gun shipping going. It's a B-17G, so we're probably going to lose this. Destroy the target. Look at all the sparks. <laughs> that just summarizes this thing's guns in a nutshell. At least we've got a decent crit, but... You know, we're, we're not exactly... There we go, he's he's now dead. We're not exactly the best armed aircraft anymore. I mean, it used to have really good guns, but it doesn't anymore, I can tell you that much. Comments below, how many sparks did you count on that B-17? Let me know. I'm, I'm going to leave you all to count, because... Why not? <laughs> I mean, I, I'm probably going to look myself just to have an idea, but like, that was appalling, to say the least. That was just utterly appalling. Okay, so we're going to need all four bombs to take out this next base. That's fine. I'm not bothered about the P-38s just yet. They're not bothering me. I won't bother them. I'm going to go for this base here. It's a bit closer. Like I said, the, the handling of this plane is actually not that bad. I mean, it's it's definitely special, especially with the elevator. The elevator is really awkward. But that's just normal, really. Lining her up on target. Like I said, we're going to need all four to kill this. One, two, three, four. And now, whilst we're at it, we might as well try and gunship the B-17. Because why the fuck not? We'll actually be able to catch the B-17. And of course, we have a prime example of a bomber zombie right here. Because this guy's been locked on it way longer than I have. B-17's diving. I think we actually outdived the B-17. If any of you bomber mains actually know that answer, let me know. I'm fairly certain this thing outdives it. That hurt. Can we put that fire out? Probably not, because P8 never put out wing tank fires in my experience. Of course, he has EFS. We do not. Really? That's just rubbing salt in the wood, you prick. Nope, gun is dead, and there goes the wing. Can the bomber zombie actually kill the bomber? He did, but he tail sat it. Well, on that note, hang on a minute. If he flies a little bit closer, come on. A little bit closer, mate. Come on. Do it for daddy. Oh, the gun has run out of coverage, I think. Hang on, hang on. Really? You're shooting me, you retard? I'm trying to save your butt. No, I missed. And the gun's jammed anyway. But there you go, that's exactly what that douchebag's up to, so if you would like to report this player for that, please do feel free. I will see you all in the next match. And welcome to match two. I gotta love how, even though I was trying to save the Yak-3 from that P-51, I know he was already dead, but, you know, like the Mustang wanted a kill assist. I was even trying to save him from that, and he decided, yes, I will shoot at the teammate that was helping me. Like, really? Shows what kind of a player he is. But yeah, as I said, if you want to report him, please do feel free. I'm not going to stop you, but it's your choice. I can't be bothered, because players like that are not worth my extra effort, is all I'll say. Okay. Looks like we're in a 5-0 match, which is fine by me. Like I was saying, though, this, this plane is the prime example of... Its guns are entirely reliant on Gaijin. Yeah, sure, I'll call the other one, mate. Um, but yeah, this, this vehicle is entirely reliant on the way Gaijin treats its guns. And as we saw, we got a shitload of sparks. Like, yeah, we set an engine fire. Whoop-de-doo, he has EFS. And he used it. It's just 
things like that just really hurt this plane. And obviously the e the lack of EFS, which wouldn't have helped with the fuel tank fire, but that's not my point. The lack of fire extinguishers just doesn't help this plane enough. And I'm fairly certain the M82 engine did have a fire extinguisher system. It's just things like that really, like Gaijin just need to do more for this plane. It's not entertaining otherwise, and to be honest it's quite boring to fly, like yeah you can fly up to bombers and shoot them, whoop to do every bomber can do that technically speaking. I've gunshipped a PBM and killed it in a fucking B6N, doesn't make it a good bomber except does it. So you know, it's things like that really. Anywho, I will see you once we get over there. Well, welcome back. The Wyvern and the Kai-67 have kindly farmed up their bases a little bit for me. So given it took point four seven, I'm going to drop two bombs on this base and two on the Wyvern's base. And I think that should do it. We'll just have to see. So yeah, as I said, it's not really the plane's fault, like, that it's boring to fly. And, well, the guns are down to Gaijin. I can't really blame that either. But, like... It makes this plane just uninteresting and kind of boring. Like, why would I fly this over, let's say, a B-25, which has better coverage, better guns. Sure, it trades bomb load, but it gets EFS, so it's a bit more durable. And, like, why would I let alone... Play something that has six 500 kilogram bombs when I can just play a TU2S which has four and actually has decent guns. Can you see the problem? Like, it's. It's not the plane's fault that Gaijin keeps screwing it over. I can't blame the plane for something that's out of its control, so to speak. Okay, the Kai 67 for some reason is tunnel visioned on the P38 instead of the B-25, which I would rather shoot at if I was in his shoes. And he just did, so that's good. And look at the entire enemy team waiting for me. How wonderful. I mean, at least he killed the B-25, that's at least something. And they've got an XP-55. Fucking beautiful. I really do not want to see that. I suppose on the positive side is we can bait them up like this. And look, this guy's just helicoptering up straight for us. So let's see if we can get him with the guns. I need to sneeze, but I need to shoot at the same time. God, I love this time of year. I don't. Speaking of the devil. Yeah, I hate this time of year when it comes to pollen. Harry's in the same boat as me, so that's just how it is, unfortunately. I suppose on the positive side, we've baited all the bomber zombies, so that's at least something. Because they're now in focusing in their entire team to try and shoot me, and we just broke on the back propellers, but that's okay. Look at that shit our guns are, we can't even kill a Mustang. Like... <laughs> I'm sorry, but this plane is dog shit in this game in the day and age. Play this if you're a tank RB player. Don't play this if you're an air RB player. It's god awful. And, like I said, a lot of it is not down to the plane. But it's down to Gaijin. And I'm sorry, but if I have to pour that many 20mm rounds plus 50 cals, because you heard the Berezins fire in there too, into a P-51 and it takes that long to kill it so that it can still kill me, there is something very wrong with the guns. And as I said, don't blame the plane, it's Gaijin. I was hitting that Mustang with everything I'd got. It just didn't do shit. I hit the B-17s with everything I'd got. It just didn't do shit. Things like this just are not helping this plane. But anywho, I will leave you all to it for today. I hope you enjoyed seeing the PA in action. You will see another sub-request later, slash combo request. Depends on what's on, on 
well, in order on my list, because I do them in order, as you know. Anywho, I'll see you all on the next one.